Hey, welcome folks, Bob from bobsplumbingvideos.com. Today I want to give you a tabletop demonstration on how to make the transition from the P-trap located under your kitchen or bathroom sink to the actual sink itself. I'll show you a couple of different methods and how I do it, and hopefully you'll get a little insight and won't be afraid to tackle something like this yourself. So let's drop down to the bench and see how it's done. Hey guys, welcome to the bench top. Uh, what I have laid out for you here are just a few, a few ways to get from your P-trap, which is underneath most kitchen and bathroom sinks. And for those of you who don't know what a P-trap is, I mean, basically, if you look under the sink, it's that little, that little U-turn, that little U-shaped device that you see underneath your kitchen cabinets. And what you need to do is you need to get from the P-trap to the strainer of the sink. And typically how you do that is through use of, uh, you know, tubing. Waste tubing. Uh, waste tubing comes in many flavors. Uh, what you see here is, is tubular brass. It does come in PVC, which is, which is very nice, because as I've stated in the past, PVC is forever. But, you know, most of the time, I personally use the, the brass tubing. I mean, I've been doing it this way most of my life. And there's several different methods of doing it. I mean, depending upon the distance you have to go from the, strain, the actual strainer itself to the P-trap, uh, you may use you may use 90s, a uh, couple of 90s this way. You can these can be cut. Uh, you may use uh, a waste offset, and this is a waste offset. And by the way, you don't use it like this. Although I've seen people use it like this, you do have to cut these, as I've demonstrated here. I have this one cut, and depending upon you know way you cut these I mean you can get your distances pretty pretty far away depending upon you know how you can cut this short you can leave this long so there are you know that depends on the distances you're going underneath your sinks um, you also have uh, different methods of connecting your uh, tailpiece to your strainer now this is one method I just wanted to bring this to your attention. This is a, a side outlet tailpiece whereby you can put your dishwasher waste hosing right on here and then connect this right to your strainer. So this would connect right up to the kitchen strainer. You put your waste hose on here. That's one method, which is probably the most popular method that I see out there. Another method, you can use uh, this nice little washing machine tee here and this tee can go right down inside of your P-trap and you can connect your dishwasher waste hose into this T and then you can continue on up and connect your tailpiece onto your strainer. And I just thought I'd mention too, this is a chrome plated uh, tubular uh, tailpiece. Now, I don't know why they make these chrome plated, uh, you know, they're expensive, but I would guess in an exposed situation, you would want it to look pretty under the sink, and that's why they make them in chrome. But, but that's basically um, a few methods of how to go about making the transition from the P-trap to the strainer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out a P-trap, a couple of P-traps and a strainer out in the next segment, and I'll try to explain to you you know, how I go about getting from one to the other. And just keep in mind, I'll be doing live demonstrations underneath, you know, actual kitchen sinks. But I just wanted to lay out for you some different methods of going from, you know, one to the other. Now, they also make, and I will take this out of its sleeve so you can see it, and I'm going to pan by the camera here, but they also make, these are 8-inch slip elbows. They make them all the way up to 24 inches, and I'm going to be panning by the camera here, and you'll see, this is a 24 inch waist bend because sometimes you'll have a double sink situation or two sinks and you have to get from one to the other. And when you have to do that, uh, there's a special trap you use. It's called a swing T trap, which allows you to connect two sinks. And I'm going to show you that in the next segment. So uh, this is something I do carry a few of on the truck. Uh, because I never know when I'm going to be in a situation where I do have two sinks. But nevertheless, let's get together in the next segment and we'll lay out some P-traps and a strainer and uh, we'll see if we can uh, enlighten you on how to make the transition.